Hello everyone. In today's video, you will see me kill the elder 50 times and I will see if I make a profit or not. I roughly paid around 41 divine orbs to get all the fragments and yeah, let's see if I will make a profit or not. Enjoy the video. Final run.
Divine exalted all such grace and exhilarating nice sensation of victory in this world of the damned Sweet. for a brief moment. So that was the last run. I got 21 Watcher's Eye Jewels out of the 50 Eldorans, Orb of Dominance. I got the Fragments, a couple of Uniques, of course. And I got some Rares as well. But the Rares will not be fractured in, of course, because Rares are random. And I only want to show you consistent currency gains. So how much currency did I actually make by running 50 Elders? So the third stash tab only gives me 10 C. The second one with all the fragments and uniques gives me a 24 divine currency gain. And the first stash tab, which contains all the unidentified watches eye jewels, unfortunately cannot be calculated. So I had to do the calculation myself. A watches eye jewel from the regular elder, which is unidentified, currently sells for roughly 2.5 divine orbs. I got 21 of them. That gives me a 525 divine orb currency gain plus the 2.1 divine orbs in the stash tab gives me a 54.6 divine orb currency gain so in total i made 78.7 divine orb in currency gains if we subtract the 41 divine orbs that i had to originally invest it gives me a net profit of 37.7 divine orbs which is pretty nice I farmed two hours and 11 minutes in total. I'm not including, of course, the amount of time it took me to buy all the fragments, but I think for a pure boss farming strategy, this is pretty good. But what I also have to mention is I think I got pretty lucky when it comes to the amount of Watch's Eye Jewels that dropped. Okay, so we now know what profit we would have made if we just sold everything but i'm not going to be a tease here and not identify the watches eye jewels so let's have some fun and do that first one 12 percent of physical damage purity that kind of looks bad not gonna lie yeah oh really 21 divine orbs allegedly okay never mind this one would be worth 10 divine orbs cool next this one is garbage. Vitality and haste. Garbage. Yeah, this one is worth one divine. That this one is decent. Determination frostbite. I think this one is trash. Gain cane search. Garbage. Immunity freeze by effect of purity of ice. Double purity of ice. Yeah. Trash. Attack speed by affected by precision. Extra lightning damage by affected by wrath. Ooh. Yeah, this one is worth two divines. That's not bad. Next. Regenerate energy per second while affected by discipline. Unaffected by vulnerability while affected by determination. Roughly a divine. Next. Cannot be blinded while affected by precision. I think this one is trash. Increased gas speed while affected by zero tree. Okay. Garbage. Fire damage is while affected by anger. 40% increased physical damage while using pride. This combination is roughly worth a divine. 60% damage taken with mana, purity of elements. What? 40 divine orbs. Really? Okay. Looks like this one is legit. Wow. Very nice. Uh, next. Unaffected by shock ground while affected by purity of lightning. Uh, I think this one is trash. Reduced reflected damage, purity of elements, chill ground while affected. Trash. Okay, um, this one was garbage. This one, let's see. Fresh spell damage. Two divines. Purity of elements. Com what? Okay. Okay, sure. RNG is on my side today. Not bad. <laughs> 30 diffs. Nice. Next. Discipline and haste. Four divines, nine divines, ten divines. Okay, that's definitely above average as well. Ooh. Hatred. Physical damage from hits. I think hatred alone is worth 10 divines, yeah. Uh, but in com I don't think this will get used. There's one for sale for 30, but I'm not sure. But yeah, 10 diffs, definitely. Clarity and purity. 5 divines, 6 divines. Okay, not bad. And last one. Hatred and purity of ice. So 100. So... As you can see, I got pretty lucky. I got a couple that are worth 
30 divines or more. Got a few bad ones and a few average ones, I would say. But what you just saw is not consistent. If you want to make consistent gains, just sell them unidentified. This is 100% above average in, in terms of luck, what I just got. So if you want to make consistent gains, just sell your watches or jewels. And if you can afford to gamble, identify them and maybe you, you get lucky like I did. All right, that concludes the video. I hope you guys found it informative and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.